Hi everyone, it's Missy. I finally get to do some gardening outside. A week ago today we had a storm that dumped two feet of snow on us and now it's all gone. It all pretty much vanished yesterday and I'm going to start working on my raised beds. Now the first thing I like to do is make sure I sprinkle some 10-10-10, which is the bag that you see down there over the garden first. I don't like go overboard in it, just a little bit. And then I spade over the garden to get it, the soil aerated and also to get those microorganisms all stirred up. So that's the first thing that I am going to do. And when you're doing this, you can either use a spade, you can use a garden fork, you can use a combination, it doesn't really matter. It's just to get the soil stirred up, also to kind of help dry it out. It's still pretty muddy in here. Um, not too bad compared to the regular garden though. And I don't care about this, um, people call it trash that's in here. It's just leftover plant material from last fall. That is all good organic compounds that will be, um, you know, the microorganisms will use to, to compost and uh, provide more nutrients for our garden this year. All right, I got the soil all spaded over. I took a garden rake and leveled everything off. And then I put on these polytunnels. Now I just bought these brand new this year. I got them from Amazon. And they look, they come in a package like this. It's called the Haxnix Easy Tunnel, the original and best. This is the giant poly. So these are 10 inch, nine feet, 10 inches in length and two feet wide. And the height is one, in, one, in, uh, one foot and five inches in height. So um, I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested to check those out. I've had good luck with these in the past as netting and I decided to expand upon the poly and this is going to be my miniature greenhouse or my cold frame to get everything, uh, the soil warmed up and so I can get my carrots, radishes, lettuce, spinach and so forth planted out in this part of the garden. And hopefully I could do that within the next few days. I'm hoping that the with the sun shining and all the warm temps and stuff that we're having right now. And then if it does dip down a little bit colder, I'll keep these on so that way the plants don't freeze. But if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching everyone. Bye.